One of the great things about QGIS is the ability to find tools via the processing toolbox. You'll see a cog icon somewhere on your toolbars, and if you hit it, it will open up the processing toolbox. And in the search box here, you can search for all the different tools that exist in QGIS. So if I wanted to find the buffer tool, I can type in buffer. If I want to find a tool for creating centroids, I can type in centroid. If I want to find the clip tools, I can type in clip. So that's really useful. You can find all your tools there. You can still get to these via the menus, like the vector menu, but we can't always remember where everything is. So the processing toolbox is good for that. One other tip about the processing toolbox is the little clock icon. And that's the history of things you've done in the processing toolbox. So if I click this, we can see the history of things I've done. So yesterday I did this, join attributes by location. If I go back to previous days, we can see the things I did. It looks a little bit confusing because there's so much information here, but if you double click any one of these, for example, split lines by maximum length, which I did in the last seven days. If I double click that, it will bring it back up. It will show me all the options, all the parameters I used, and I can rerun that without having to go through every step to get there. So that's another really useful thing. If you're working on a project, instead of clicking all the menus to get back to tools, you can open up the processing toolbox and then hit the little clock icon.